It's either raining or it's scorching. The dark side of the dome. It's gotta be done. I'm declaring myself safe from the pit. Fancy footwork with the boom. It's unbearable. Do I look sweaty? It's a beautiful day, but it is hot. Right there. Okay. Hi, I'm Kathy, and that's my husband, Rich, and I standing near our earth-sheltered concrete dome here in the Adirondacks of New York State. We are living 100% off-grid while building our unconventional, energy-efficient home from scratch. The build has taken a lot longer than we ever anticipated, and the waterproofing membrane is no exception. The man lift has been a blessing, and we can't honestly imagine any other way of getting this done safely with only two or three people working at a time. We are finishing out the second week and the weather doesn't look any more promising than last. We are literally going from rain every day into a heat wave with more rain expected after that. Will the weather ever work in our favor? Will we be able to finish the membrane before the man lift rental is over at the end of the week? Or is adding another week inevitable? So the guys are in the pit today. We're trying to work on the entry way and then the curve going up to the dome on this side and then the curve going to the utility room on the other side. So that's the intersection where all three domes kind of come together. So there's a lot of curves in a lot of different directions and it's super challenging. Well, there's the temperature inside and outside the dome. We can't win. It's either raining or it's scorching. So we took a midday siesta and we're gonna get back to work. It's around 3.30 right now. And we'll work till uh, the sun sets while it's cooler out. Some fancy footwork with the boom. Straddling the wall. They have to work in the shade, so they're working on the dark side of the dome. It's the only spot where you have any relief from the sun. What a good idea with the fan. We feel a little bit. A little breeze. Turn around and put, put your, your glove up in the air because there's a glare on the camera. I can't see. Just this like when I'm doing it because it's got to be done. And today's the last nice day because it's going to rain for like a week straight now. Yeah. And all those pins, I'll cut them off and deal with it later. Yeah. Now I'm leaving you. Right, I love you. Bye. Okay. I just got out of the pit. I'm declaring myself safe from the pit. That was rough. But I got the whole inside of the wall painted and Richie was able to get three membranes dropped over and I was able to see that the seams and everything overlapped good. Yeah, I don't want to ever have to go in there again with my arm. <laughs> it's all good. I'm safe. And there's Richie with the three pieces he just dropped. Oh, that looks great. The utility room is mostly covered. They said today's supposed to be one of the hottest days of this last week. How do I look? Do I look sweaty? Of course. Look at both of us. Yeah. <laughs> we can't do it. There's one more piece that needs to be zipped up. It's in the pit. Rich just climbed in the pit and tried to reach it with the ladder. It's way too high. We've got to get the machine around with the basket. It's just way too hot right now. It's unbearable. I mean, even in here, it's 81 degrees in the house. We have this solar generator plugged into AC. The man lift outside is plugged into AC. And our air conditioner... 6,000 BTU air conditioner. ...is running full blast. And got some lights on. ERB is running. We're taking in 3,500 watts because that's all we need. That's all we need. The batteries are full. 
We're not using any battery power right now. We're just fully charging everything from the sun alone. Pretty cool. That's awesome. Today we are expecting rain at about four o'clock. Oh, I think Richie moved to the other side. Let's see what they got going. We're gonna cover the dirt pile today with that tarp because we wanna keep the dirt dry. There they are. It does, it feels extra high because of the pit. The next week does look like rain, so we rented the boom for another week. Plus, we want to get the foam on the dome. And we have the parapet walls to do, so yeah, there is a lot. Nail goes on the basket and the red bucket. We'll put them in the red bucket. So All right. Hot. Where's the shots? In your, in your thing here? Oh, I know where they are. Preparing to go in the pit. Flex seal. Here you go, honey. It's the pits in the pit. It is. They got to bring a fan down in there because it's so hot. We communicate through this hole. I love you, Rich. I love you. I can pass drinks through it too. There's a lot of these little spots the paint wouldn't go in. So I'm just gonna hit them with some flex seal. Get as high as I could get. And there it is folks, we've reached 101 degrees outside and almost 81 inside. It's hot in there. Storm is almost here, babe. I don't think those burgers are gonna take long. Oh, they're burning. You know what? I'm so hungry, I don't care. <laughs> that was a big one. I guess we're gonna find out if the dome is leaking now. The tarp blew off. They're out there fixing it right now. It was a windy night, but the good news is, we didn't have any leaks. That's wonderful. Not a single leak on the dome. Even in that one spot that we thought we would leak, because we're, we're really not completely covered there yet, we didn't leak. One of the last big pieces. Trouble spot. It looks really good, I gotta be honest. Yeah, this, this is good. This zip tape didn't even think about leaking with all that rain. We That's had really good to know. There you go. All right, ready? Send it.
The six rolls of membrane were ordered on August 31st, but because of our remote location, they could not deliver to us for another two weeks. Yes, we did rent the man lift for one more week, but we ended up having to drive in and pick them up from the distributor locally so that we could have them earlier and get the dome covered. After we picked them up, we noticed that every single roll was damaged. We were told by the company that they're still good to use as long as the white rubber part is undamaged. What is that? Maybe they've changed it a little. It's uh, there's no guidelines on it for the overlap seams. It's shinier. And it's shinier. Flipperier. And it's about five pounds lighter per roll. Yes. And it's still 21 feet eight inches. So what did they do? And that's thunder. That's thunder. <laughs> thunder. Right? It's a different material. Well, yeah. It's slipperier, boy. Whoa. It it's super shiny. When this stuff gets wet, it acts like a glue and a sealant all around yes. the edges, yeah. and then the middle stays dry. Yes. So if it's ripped and stuff, it does make a difference. So this is one of the new rolls? We used all our other rolls? No, we're just going to use this one, though. Oh. It's, it's here. 21.8. 21 21 but what did it weigh? 69.1 pounds. That's a big difference. Like five pounds. That's like, yeah, that means that they're putting less clay on these. It's chancing out, just like everything else. Shrink right yeah and this is like weird that they didn't print with the ink yeah no guidelines they save money different on material ink. it's different wow. material. that's probably why it's it's thinner and lighter yeah so this is the original yep this Got is the with the seam and everything else showing yeah the, the line for the and that line. is yeah it's definitely it. thinner it's a finer kitty litter too it's much finer Close. Whatever this is, it thinner. peels off easily. Yeah. This, yeah. yeah, this stuff is here. Look, see sticky. how easy this is, comes off? It's yeah. Like paper. Yeah, so you can't pull it around as much. Yeah. The, the one that we got originally was way better. A dark cloud over you. Got hit with a couple of raindrops. That's the rain. They're just trying to finish up and get it zipped. Working in the rain and the dark. Oh, it's getting worse. Pouring, pouring, pouring rain. There it is. Yeah, but can you change your direction? It's winding it. Tell me what you want. There you go, right there. Okay. Well, we got light. I need it over there, pointing this direction. All right, hang on. Working at night in the rain. How was that new membrane to work with? Very slippery. Lines. I didn't realize how much I carried on those lines. This. I'll get that. The thunder and lightning is coming. I know, I'm gonna be done. I'm on my way down. The top of the dome is completely covered with membrane. We may have had to work through thunderstorms, a heat wave, and even at night in the pouring rain, but we are so happy the dome is no longer leaking inside. Hopefully we can finish the parapet and retaining walls next week, because honestly, the lift rental is getting a little expensive. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you in the next video. What's wrong? The lift is not operating properly. I, I can't get it right here. Wow. So there's no proportional control. It's either full street ahead or nothing. Attention, 
Hi, this is Rich. Uh, we have the van <laughs> lift over here, and uh, we're having a problem Thank with. Thank you. <laughs> you can't make it up.